Hello everyone and welcome to Fable 3. So, um, I don't really have much to say in regards to introducing this game besides we've already gone through Fable 2. Uh, if you'd like to see that playthrough, the full VODs are up on the YouTube channel. Um, same username, same icon. And uh, after the BS we had with Fallout 4, I thought this would be a nice comfort game. Let's take a break from all of it. So I am actually going to briefly pause you guys because I have an online game that I have running that I've been playing with Corvid on and off every few weekends or so. So give me not even two minutes and I'll be right back with the, uh, the main playthrough. Okay. And so our story begins. The kingdom is Hi, on the Teresa. verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Hmm. Options. What options? Oh, I see. On... Okay, let me see how I'm sounding compared to all this. Because I don't have my moderator here with me today. Okay, is this insanely louder than me? The kingdom okay. is doomed. Okay, the kingdom Franco, Paolo. is doomed. One more time, Marco, Polo. Okay, that sounds good. Alright, we're all even dope. Perfect. Hmm. We played a woman last time, but that doesn't really mean anything. You know what? I'm always for a badass lady leading the story. I'm gonna go princess. Of course. The princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. So, for a few decisions, like major ones, I'm probably gonna give you guys a poll to make choices on that. There'll be a few decisions during the playthrough that I'll be letting you guys, the viewers, pick. I'll give you the heads up when the polls go live. Just keep an eye out for the little widget on the- wherever it pops up. I can't remember. Okay. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope 
find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid I'm not very nice. it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Zenia, ah, what are you waving yes, your tail at? heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, it is. Well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Sanya, what are you waving your tail at? Come down, buddy. Now, madam, if Sorry, my gecko is tail waving and nothing. Clothing for today's activities. Alrighty, into gameplay. Yay! Also, hello, Jasper. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning, and is I'll waiting for him. you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I Why is that in quotations, Jasper? Arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Hmm. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps. Wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message. <laughs> it may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. It becomes a member I of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable items, if one cares about such things. Yeah, well, let's go practical. I like the look of it better. I'm all about practicality. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Thank you, Bye, Jasper. Jasper. My princess. princess. Why, thank you. Also, for those of you that don't know, Xenia is one of my leopard geckos. Hello, princess. My princess? Oh, delightful. So good to see you. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, we get it. Oh, how are you, my princess? I do hope you're well. Oh, fierce warrior. Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. 
Uh, Any guy who likes yeah, animals princess. is a green flag. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. I was gonna say, I said I need protecting. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities? Don't push it. Also, uh, a quick fun fact. Um, that is Nicholas Holt. Um, I'm trying to think of the most recent movies. Uh, oh, what was that one with Nick Cage? The vampire one. Damn it. Hold on. Bad memory. Kina has got to get her list. Hold on. Either way, either way, I know him from X-Men First Class and the following movies. He plays Beast. Um, Renfield. I knew it started with an R. Yeah, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, Warren Bodies, if you watched that one back when it came out. The Menu. So he's got quite the, uh, quite the list going on. And then another actor that is hilariously enough when I first played this game, I thought it was him. I was like, oh, that's gotta be. And then I second guessed myself and went, nah, there's no way it's him. And then I read the credits at the end of the game and it was. Um, <laughs> Michael Fassbender plays our older brother, King Logan. Both of them have been in X-Men First Class. Michael Fassbender obviously plays Magneto. And Nicholas Holt plays Beast, which I just thought was funny. Also, my guy, you're getting a hug. Don't push it. Unfortunately, I only have two options. How's that? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how effective that will be in a real combat situation. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Well, the first things you mentioned. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. But more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a sip of my coffee, but, but it keeps on prompting me to do stories. things. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? Oh, just put me on the spot. I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Everyone's waiting for you. Uh, fine, if I have to. Good. Now let's go. I love how they always try to like- I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. They're trying to obviously set up like a romance early in the game. Meanwhile, my ace ass is just, yeah, no, keeping him at arm's length. <laughs> also, uh, if you play the prince, I believe the romance interest's name is Elise instead of Elliot. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's I'm just so dragging much, him along. And he looks so tired all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. That kind of sounds like me. <laughs> I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Ah, oh, you're so lucky. Having a statue of your brother right outside your window. Oh, uh, yeah. It must give you nightmares. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Just leave him behind. Oh, hey, look! It's our little chicken friend from the opening. He's okay. You go, little dude. Let go. Welcome, your majesty. <laughs> Sorry, I found out I could zoom in. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Ugh. Harsh speech. Hmm. Let's give an encouraging speech. You've all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. 
But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then. Yay! Ready for today's training? Approval! Take good care yes. of her, Walter. Hi, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who Great. knows what your best. brother will do go. next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. A lot of people come to see your brother today. Poor sods. So, Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? Hey, don't push me. To eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But, perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. It isn't fair. Why should we pay for low Yeah, sure. Paper? I'd be happy to I'm sign. all down Thank for you, my opposing tyrants. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. What if he decides to have us all executed too? Well, one of them is going to run. <laughs> that was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but you put me up for it. Finally, realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you Fair put enough. it to good use in the combat room. Come on, you have made Yay! good progress these past few weeks, but today isn't about practice. Ah. Stop I pushing want me. you to fight me as if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out. Just how ready you are. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Grab I'm sword. ready. Hey. Yeah, give me a weapon. That totally won't go wrong. Fight. Yeah. Yes. I'm good. Wow, I'm ass. Nice strike. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Yeah. Of your mother, the great hero queen. You'd hey, never get tired of hearing those stories. <laughs> Look at those shorty back. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. Ah, every single time. I wish that was oh, something an old soldier like me could do. She's running backwards. But I've done my best. <laughs> now I need you to do your best. Strike me. Come on. Yeah. Strike me as hard as you can. Okay. It's a flourish. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something. Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. God. What's happened? Outside the castle, it looks like a demonstration. This is not good. Elliot, Walter was gonna say something. They're oh, I got right ahead inside of them. the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from what the stairs. We, we should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. But he said stay here. Okay. They must be in the war room. The nets get there before anyone sees us. Cool, get out of my way. Ah! I want to go first. Let's follow Elliot. No. I the princess. I lead. Quick. You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting and the interests apparently. of the people. Do not question me again. 
You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh. <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. Maybe. Dude's going pure tyrant. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. Child! You can't kill those people. No. Child! Wait. What do you call it a child? Enough. How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really uh, wish yeah. to defend those traitors. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Also, hello, Logan. Wait, the introduction you made for yourself, not for a great first impression. Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all oh right. Oh boy, another Don't bot. worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, sister. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. Get I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers, or this boy? The sentence will be death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving That's an ultimatum, not a full decision. Life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Okay. Uh, Logan, that's an ultimatum off of your choice, not my choice. You didn't go, hey, how do you want to handle this scenario, period. You gave me an ultimatum, my dude, not an actual decision. Jerk. Also, yeah, Elliot, I've known you for like five minutes and you're telling me to choose you, so, uh, bye-bye. to leave you, but what choice do we have? Exactly. See, he said it himself. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done and that I love you. Take the boy away. Yeah, yeah, Kill yeah. him now. They really didn't make that a very hard decision. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. Yeah, they really didn't make that a difficult decision. Hey, guy you met five minutes ago. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of I'm us not. realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your mother's daughter. Also, just wanted to bring up a very interesting thing. Uh, if I'm correct, I believe... I know it's a program thing, it doesn't always work. But it goes off of your Fable 2 save data. Of the last hero that has actually completed the main story. So that's why it's getting the um, the pronouns and gender of your last of our last hero in Fable Two, which was Sparrow, which is our our female hero. So just a little neat thing. Is that not just a random pull? Very good. 
I will pack It'll random pull if you don't have no Fable Two data. Take nothing. Not even okay. Garments. Come on. <laughs> we must leave now. Don't worry, madam. I ah, just sleep in your clothes. Oh, I should have done something in the throne room. You swore MVP, man. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister about this garden. Where are we going? I think I can figure out what's being uh, sinister be about the garden. But there's something we must do first. This game series soundtrack is so good. I love it, I love it, it's I love time it. time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never hey, thought that's I'd me. enter this place again. You should have known better. Ah. Which, um, every character that we have that's like a self-insert of sorts, like, any RPGs, the all their names are died. Twitch. It's the I same... Her, I... It's the same entity and the same character for us. So Twitch is our Oblivion character, our The Outer Worlds character, our Fallen New Vegas character, um, even Fable 2. They're all the same person. Just r different forms. Different genders, you know. Just a little just a little dimension hopping shapeshifter we've come up with. We'll Anyways. You one day, when you were old enough and strong enough, this is your history. This is your legacy. And if you're wondering about the continuation of mother daughter, um, we're just gonna call her daughter of Twitch. So we're gonna come up with a new name for this one. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. Also, we do have some DLC installed. Courtesy of Lady Corbin. It's a guild seal! This is your mother's most treasured possession. The guild seal. No, my most treasured possession was Reaver's house. <laughs> it chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends, take it. Okay, jeez. And I'm pausing so I don't interrupt story. Yoink. Is something supposed to happen? Why is it so big? I never understood that. It's supposed to be like a little seal. Also, if I ever get a tattoo, I'm getting that the guild seal on my shoulder. These games mean so much to me. You? I am Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided hey, your mother in her greatest triumph. Why are you so but tall? You have an even and yes, you did. Destiny ahead of you. The seal. Greater than the spire. Hello, You're lying. As it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you know yeah, the path new? you were born to take. And at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials. But you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always. And Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Bye, Teresa. Also, discussing Teresa, a lot of people like to say, oh, like, she's, I guess not a villain of sorts. Um... To me, she seems very much like a grey character. Like, yes, she can be kind of scary. Most notably at the end of Fable 2, when she takes the Spire. Um, 
I, I, I still can't see, help but see her as like a, like kind of like a, not so much a mother figure, but like an auntie figure, I guess. More like an aunt. I don't know. Some sort of extended family. Not grandma. She doesn't come off as old to me. I know she is old, but she's not granny just yet. <laughs> there is a great power Woo! inside you. You merely lack the means to unleash it. Take this. Oh boy, here comes the pyro again. <laughs> the Yoink. gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. You gave me five. supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. I never doubted it for a second. Well, thank you, Jasper. Neither did I. Still, though, <laughs> it bloody worked. Hold on. Do it again. Sorry, music is a huge, like, somewhat narrow. Form, source, I, I don't know, however you want to call it, of nostalgia for me for these games. So when I hear the old soundtracks, like, there will be a few of them. Most notably, the uh, the intro. Um, and a little fun fact regarding me in the intro. Uh, I, okay, so when I played Fable 2, I was maybe 14 years old. And it was hilarious enough, actually, it was summer, just like this. Uh... <laughs> And I played Fable 2 nonstop for like a week at least. Just wake up, play Fable 2, go to bed, wake up, but like over and over and over again until I was done the game. And then not even like a day or two later, I found Fable 3. And I don't know if you guys, I don't think I gave you guys enough time to notice. The intro is the same music as the Fable 2 pause menu and main title screen, but slowed down. And when I, I was so fresh off of the emotions of Fable 2, when I picked up Fable 3, I legitimately started crying when I noticed it. I was like grabbing a snack and getting stuff around me ready, and then all of a sudden it started playing, and I heard the da 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 da. I was like, no! <laughs> Don't do this to me, how dare you! It just started making me cry. Yeah, we'll have a few themes like that that are not recycled, but I guess rev revised? I don't know. Reused, however you want to put it. Um, We'll run into a few of those. And I will be pointing them out. Because I love them. It's a cave. I never did care for being poked in the oh, I don't have a sword! Oh. You told me I can't break boxes. How about if I strike a bottle on the bumps? Hey, no fighting. No fighting. No infighting. Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. <laughs> this is as BS as the Bat Cave. Just a huge, empty space underneath plenty of infrastructure like how has nothing collapsed I 
hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? Even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. But they need a leader. Someone to believe in. I'll be in the Take that! Yeah, if you're seeing progress on the achievements, it's because I've been playing online with Lady Corbin. Well, I know I am. Yay! Come on. And I'm proud Validation! Of you <laughs> I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is me, a man of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof. land in a revolution. That's are just the beginning. <laughs> so did the hero blood let just like skip Logan? Four bats. I am using my spell. To think Thank you, Jesper. Transportation system for heroes. I was under the impression the colour skates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left at least. Your mother must have Chris placed this one here in case she ever needed to use it. It's the same symbol that we saw by the tomb. You suppose it's activated in the same way? Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what to do. Yep. Yes. What is this place? You know, it must be. You okay? It is. It's your mother's sanctuary. She used to speak of it. But oh, I the, music, the music, the music, the music, the music. Pause well, menu, sanctuary, same thing. Jasper, this book. There's a <gasps> note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be no. a goat. The old queen must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most oh, remarkable. Music. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. That does sound like something I'd do. <laughs> functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. <laughs> One moment, I'm just going to check something. I don't even Perfect. know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mistpeak. 
There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. All right, all right. Now, that don't looks doubt like the past me. Camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there. Just like that. Already going to Canada. <laughs> it worked. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. <laughs> the people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. Mm, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. Did a girl just try to trade me a doll for food? The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod. Why are you looking that way? A good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a princess. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you okay. ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less regal. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find That's a place? little bit of gold. Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. Did you come from? Good luck. Did you bring anything? I can't feed my family. Sabine, better sort this out. Hello. So good to have you here. Please look around. Look around. With Saker out there. There's one thing here, dude. Go out to hunt. I run this ordeal in. Hello, madam. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is is this is this how you <laughs> uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal. What an extraordinary device. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. Not only wow. that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? Yep. Ah, hello. Now, including hey, buddy, the sanctuary you it up a little bit. dressing room. Step through and I'll show you. Gifts. Oh yeah, well you change your dog. I'm going for the clockwork. Oh yeah, here we go. So, uh, tradition on this channel, I used to have... I've had exactly one dog in, I believe the like, my history. Be to your liking. Okay, thank you, Jasper. Um, and his name was Jethro. So, per tradition, every dog we have in a game that we can name, we name it Jethro. There we go. Hey, buddy. So. We can... Oh, it doesn't show you, like, a preview? Alright. Darn. I know you can buy these. I don't know if it's, like, one only. What does that one look like again? Hold on. Hold on. What does that one look like again? Let me see your options. Oh, okay, so it's like German Shepherd, pretty much. 
Yeah, we have a Poodle, we have a Doberman. Alsatian's basically a German Shepherd. That's basically what it looks like. Yeah. German Shepherd, basically. I believe there's also a husky one? Wasn't there a husky one? There's Collie. No! Husky was in Fable 2. My bad. My bad. Husky was in Fable 2. So Alsatian looks like a German Shepherd. Doberman is a Doberman. There's a white and a pink poodle and a clockwork. I love the clockwork one. Personally, when I've been playing with Corbett, his bark is so adorable. Just trust me, clockwork. Look at him! Oh, wait. Oh, so it's not. Oh, it's not limited. Oh, so we can just change it. I'll follow you into the. Oh, look at that. Room, shall I? Jasper! Okay, anyways. Clockwork dog. All right, all right, I'm going. I've taken the liberty of laying Bug. out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? Fine. There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. That's ignorant, Jasper. Oh yeah, and then we can save up what's here. Sorry, something looked off about them. Anyways. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. Ah, no! No, no, no! Oh, no, the buffer! Come here, General! Come here, buddy! Can I get you to bark? <laughs> Gorgeous! <laughs> He'll bark when he finds something. <laughs> Darn. Uh, there it is! If we don't get some food soon. Ah, it's a little mechanical bark. I'm getting so oh, you can hear him whirring too. I love the little wind up on his back. Look at the little wind up key. Okay. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I spoke Thank to you. Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well, I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, don't push me. Ooh. Out of the way, boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There is a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall built by your own mother. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Boulder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Hey, come on, boy. <laughs> it's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your mother built the chamber under the Bright Wall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. You know what's funny is, apparently a popular opinion is not liking uh, Sabine. And a lot of people love Paige. 
I'm the opposite. I could do with or without Paige, personally. I don't hate her or anything. I just, I don't know. She, you'll see later, she's very harsh on her judgment. There's a little bit of wiggle room with some of the other people, depending on the actions you take, but she's like black and white, where sometimes it's not always feasible. I mean, she's still a great character. Like I said, I don't hate her or anything. I got nothing against her. I still like her. But I, I don't get why people don't like Sabine. <laughs> I think he's neat. He's fun. Just show the old librarian your guilt. Also, there were the barks. I'll try to the find little out mechanical more about barks. These I'll see you in Brightwall when Stop I have Stop trapping me! God! Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. All right, bye bye. I know now. Oh, we got new stuff. Sanctuary. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds intriguing. I'd heard rumors, of course, but none other than heroes have lived to speak of it. You must take care <laughs> once you are inside. Sorry, I'm being a menace making Jasper spin. Why can't we interact with them? How oh, we can ask him to explain the room. Oh, I didn't know that. When gifts. someone has given you a gift, I will keep yes. it here until you wish to unwrap You will call it. Yes. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, soldier uniform. Pink, where's my purple? Where's my black? Where's my purple? Where's my purple? I hope that's cream. Why can't. Oh, there we go. Or hot pink. We have our black, that's good, but there's also a purple dye pack. Or hair using the dark. These are they DLC, are by the way. I feel the need to point that out. The soldier outfit... Oh yeah, where's the Yule? <laughs> Hold on, where's the... It's just a hat! <laughs> I pranked uh, Corvid one time. I was joining the game and Corvid was kind of like, stepped away for a second. I can't remember what she was doing. But basically, I was just in this, just standing behind her in the war room. <laughs> Anyways. No! There we go. Ah, ah. I'm gonna wait till we have all our dice sets before I start messing with things. Okay. I don't have a sword yet. Or a crossbow. Give me my weapons! I'm not inclined to be a mage. It's not my usual playthrough. Of anything, really. <laughs> Give me my long range stuff. Yeah, I love with Boulder, you can hear the little borks. From, uh, from Jethro or the clockwork dog. I love little tippy tap music makes. I just I love the clockwork dog, my favorite personally. Okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh it's up here. God, I love a little wind-up key on him. I know we're going the complete wrong way, but like we got the, the trail to guide us. We're fine, do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, those things that I'm getting in the gifts and everything, they're they're DLC. Why they made certain dye colors DLC, I don't know. Ow, barks, I'm sorry, it's so cute. I'll get over it eventually. Let's check something. Sanctuary yeah. shop recently. I believe there are new items. Sorry, sometimes my party drops after about an hour of play, so I just want to keep checking in and make sure that it hasn't dropped on me because we're about the hour mark. Ooh! Nice. That needs five. Darn. We don't even have one. Also, this playthrough, uh, I'm not sure about the gnomes. <laughs> um, there's- we did so many episodes in Fable 2 for looking- okay! Okay! Of- <laughs> of looking for the, uh- oh, I love the point. Ah! 
We did too many episodes in Fable 2 looking for the keys and the gargoyles. So I'm unsure about the gnomes this playthrough. I will be looking for the silver keys though. That is a collectible that I'm going to be trying to get all of. Are the silver keys. Can I go up this way? Oh, I can. What are you hiding? Nothing. Damn! Okay, so keep in mind. Five silver keys. Chest and Miss Peak. So, while Corvid and I may have been playing very spontaneously and kind of like spread throughout, as in like, we'll get together maybe once a month-ish if we can to play this, uh, given that it's been so spread out, I'm still- it's not like I'm like, you know, going through it back to back and like knowing exactly everything that happens. No, it's it's been- we're three quarters of the way through the story, so. It's been a while since I've been at the beginning. Plus, replaying Fable is always just a fun experience. So yes, I've played this before. Corv and I are doing our own little online playthrough together. But that doesn't ruin... Jesus. Anything of our playthrough. Clearly, considering that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Jethro. You tell him, buddy. Start me off with fire. That's such an awful way to die. Also, I don't care if YouTube does decide to copyright strike me for, or even just put a copyright on the video for the Fable 3 music. Uh, I'm not turning it off. I don't care. I'll have this entire goddamn series with strikes in it. I do not care. I love these soundtracks. I can do without the fa without the Fallout soundtracks, because obvious copyrighted music. Not original to the game. Don't care for Fable. You are not making me put this down. Uh, oh, hello. Well then. What's all this? Huh. Feels like there should be something here, but maybe a little bit later into the game. Speaking of, I should probably continue on the actual path we're supposed to go. Hey, Vid, how you doing? Beef with YouTube, real? Yeah. I don't care. They can do whatever they want to me on this one. I am not. They will not take my Fable 3 music from me. I refuse to give it up. How you doing, Vid? I feel like this is a big spot. You like our puffer? It's clockwork. Come here. <laughs> Just chilling and contemplating doing something productive. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. tradition. His name is Jethro. Game of the year? You can play with the dog? <laughs> yeah. Favorite is pretty cool. Look at the barks. Where? There. Okay. Anyways. Now it's dead. <laughs> uh, golden trails don't just go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. I know I just said we were gonna follow the trail, but explore! Adventure is out there! Ah, see? There's a chest. Bark. I'm doing good! Thanks for asking! After that BS with uh, Fallout 4, um, I spoke to my moderator, Mira after stream, and both decided it would be a good idea for me to play a comfort game, so... Fable 3. <laughs> Ooh, what's down here? I'm nosy. Oh, nothing. Boo! 
Woohoo! Alright, fine. Go the intended way. Aha! See, I knew that party was gonna cut. I mentioned- What the hell is going on with the door? I told you the party- Ah! I mentioned this earlier. I was checking like three times to see if my party had dropped and it hadn't so I assumed you were fine and then all of a sudden now you tell me that the audio is cutting. So thank you for that. What is going on over here? <laughs> this is not normal. What the... Okay. Ah, uh, yes, radioactive doors. Oh, what's up? Oh, you found a treasure. God, I love this dog's barks. They're so cute. No, I didn't want that. Where's the treasure? Where is it, boy? Where is it? What'd you find? Oh, I think I know where it is. Aha! God, the bar I know what the bark reminds me of now. Hold on. I think it's... Yeah! Okay, so I don't know if I've mentioned them before, but there's this dog breed called the Brussels Griffin. Um, I don't know if they're ethically bred. They're kind of one of those dogs, like pugs. And like Frenchies that have the flat noses and everything and they look like little Ewoks. I don't- I'm not particularly a fan of the braid looks wise or anything else like that. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're ethically bred or anything like that. But there is one thing that I do like about them and it's their bark. Because <laughs> they're not yappy dogs. They don't have a deep bark or anything. They- like the way that the clockwork dog is barking now, that's kind of how they bark. It's just a little like bark. And it's so freaking cute! It's the only thing I like about them, besides the fact that they look like little Ewoks. But like I said, I'm unsure about the, uh, the ethics of their breeding. So, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna remain neutral on that one. Yeah, that little- burp, burp, burp. It's so cute. I gotta send a, a video to the Discord. I'll do it after stream, remind me, uh, of the Brussels Griffin. <laughs> Their bark. It's so freaking cute. Like, that's one that's probably like the only dog bark that I could probably hear for hours on end. And not be annoyed. Like, I don't like husky screaming. I don't like the little yappy dogs. I don't, you know, nothing like that. Just, but the Brussels Griffin little pop, 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 pop. They're so cute. They're like little popcorn. <laughs> It's probably the only like yappy dog I can tolerate. Or it like starts barking and it's just, oh I'm sorry, no it's fine, that's freaking adorable. <laughs> and they don't sound like pugs either. So I don't, like I said, I don't know the ethics behind the breeding. Um, usually flat nose breeds like that don't do well with breathing and whatnot. But they don't sound the way that pugs do, it sounds like they're struggling, so... I see you're approaching I'm... Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a <laughs> less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small-town pleasures. Okay. <laughs> oh no, the doors are just like that now. Oh boy. Oh, that's not even a door, it's just part of the wall. Who painted these sections neon green? I didn't green like this. I trust this. you are finding everything alright. Uh, I'm kind of missing my purple dye, but other than that, I don't want to be in this clothing anymore. Gimme. Oh, well, okay. Have you worn it before? 
Yeah, as we left the castle, Jasper. We have black dye though, so goth. Ha ha ha! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Gimme! Hair? Uh, yes. I forget if this is lighter or darker. It's lighter. <laughs> okay, top of the thing is lighter. Is it? Or is it darker? I can't remember. Ugh. No, that's... That's darker. Right? Because if I go this way... Yeah, that's a lighter gray. Right? Yeah, there's a darker one. Okay, top is dark. So then if we switch it to something like this... Yeah, there we go. That's darker. That's lighter. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's darker. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Just all black. Yes. Until we get our purple. Gotta wait a while for radiation to go away. <laughs> Definitely better than it was. See? Jasper has good taste. It is absolutely better than it was. Thank you, Jasper. God, even Fallout follows me here, too. This chamber you, beneath Howard. Brightfall sounds intriguing. Yes, you I've heard mentioned. rumors, of course, but none other than heroes have lived to speak of it. You must take care once you are inside. I miss the the uh, the goth achievement from Fable 2. <laughs> if you dress everything in black, it gives you an achievement called goth. Much better! Black like my soul! <laughs> As we've done nothing but good things this entire playthrough and probably will not be doing an evil playthrough. <laughs> so in this game we have left or right decisions, um, good and bad. So on some of the heavier decisions, I will be giving the choice to you guys. I will be giving you guys a poll to decide what we do. You know what, let's do the whole Brightwell thing and then we'll unlock the stories and all that. I was gonna go looking for things to change up our look and all that, but let's just... Let's just actually do what we're here to. Yeah, I'm, I'm still so upset with the way our Fallout 4 playthrough ended. Oh. <laughs> I forgot you about these. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Just give me, give me a second. I love how it's consistently two to three. Oh, well, it's not consistently two anymore, but you know what I mean. Two to three. We don't sell drinks, we don't sell chicken tea. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <coughs> Sweet Papyrus! A real visitor! I Papyrus Undertale? I no, I'm kidding, sorry. Truth. <laughs> King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian sorry. these days. Oh, I had to show this. Feast your eyes on this! The, guild's the holy bookmark! I haven't seen it since the old hero queen last came here. Uh, then you are... The princess. Yes. Oh, my. Are you leaning like that? Uh, please, come this way. Your mother told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was she who founded the academy, of course. I have often wondered how she would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Making my indecisive ass choose, dear lord. Hey, it's on all of you. Plus me, so. It's a group decision. I personally, the only, like, fantasy game that's had, like, a better... Not a better. Um, an equally, like, nostalgic soundtrack was, ironically enough, like... 
I was going to say Oblivion, but honestly, I got to give the point to Skyrim. Skyrim has a really nice soundtrack, too. Not better than Fables, especially not Fable 2. But it's still nice, and it still gives you that nostalgic feeling. So. Oh, wait, no, this is full of enemies I hate. Okay, there's only two things that I fear in Fable. Well, okay, one real thing that I fear in Fable, that unfortunately they made a bigger part of the game in this one. Uh, I dislike hollow men. Basically, skeletons, but more annoying. And, uh, there's plenty of them in here. I hate that. Something interesting to read here. Don't you tell me what isn't isn't interesting. A series of books detailing the horrid prophetic nightmares of the mad monk Sylvester Magus. The final one is simply called- Hey! Get out of the way. Get out of the move. Uh, simply called Darkness Descends on Albion. Oh. Yoink. Oh! That tells me there's a silver key here! Unless you were supposed to find one earlier. Yeah, the decisions are a group project. <laughs> This bookcase contains several tomes on the subject of physical violence, from stabbing someone with a fork to gouging- Hey! To gouging their spine out with a lettuce! <laughs> uh... Lionhead Studios, come back! The kids miss you! No, no, no. I'm not going forward yet. Do not mistake this. I'll come back to this side later. I want to check this side first. These books have grand long names, but don't appear to have been read. Well, would you read something called the suit? The what? Superannuated properties of perpendicular toenails. <laughs> Snow bookcase. Snow bookcase. Interesting to read here. Darkness descends on Albion. Crumbling under the weight. Has gold in it for some reason. When oh, you hello. In a sword fight, just make sure you got the other fellow first. Easy. What? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love this. I love these games. Ah. Long lost language. Coming into the way. What? Dig spot. Yeah, uh, yeah, dig spot. Damn. Come on, where's the silver key? There's gotta be one. You have a chest here. Where's the silver key? I know I didn't search this side. I heard a sock once incredibly popular now considered rubbish. A large collection of necromantic books, dark arts surrounds them, or is there a cloud of spores from a musty fungus? Okay, no. Oh yeah, the perpendicular toenails. What's this game all about anyways? Just trying to wrap my head around it. Um... Uh... So far, the story so far, uh, our older brother, the king, Logan, has turned into an absolute tyrant. So now it is up to us to lead the revolution slash rebellion against him. That is the story so far. Oh, I didn't see what that was. It's fine. I'm just spamming A. Where's the silver key? Uh, it's probably like further in. It's fine. 
Let's head to the left. The op- Hey, look at that! The opposite of where you're telling us to go. Fart. Yeah! So you get to make decisions for the outcome of the kingdom. You can turn into a tyrant yourself and break a bunch of promises you make, or you can keep said promises. And, you know, generally be a good person. <laughs> Be a little bit of both. Be a great character. Yeah, we played uh, Fable 2 before this, which, in ah, hello, my Jasper personal opinion, again. is my favorite. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. Yeah, our playthrough of Fable 2 is over on the YouTube channel. <laughs> this sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons. Heroic weapons, which your mother left for you. This way, please. When do I get my purple dye? Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, According to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. Ooh! Sword! Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. Okay, you can name your weapons. That is a problem, because I want to name it something stupid like Stabby. Ooh, or... Or... I'll just wait for you to select a weapon, then. <laughs> or we can name it after previous heroes. Stabby the sword, I'm all in for it. All right. Right. That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Back off, I'm armed. Oh no, we didn't crash. No, um, because this is an Xbox 360 game. Um, being backwards compatible, whenever you go to name something, it actually, um, it pulls up the old Xbox 360 format to name something, and it pauses the stream. Because it pulls up a different screen. We didn't crash. It's fine. It just does that. It happened when we went to name Samuel our dog, too. It just pauses the stream while you do that for some reason. Ah, yeah. Yes, now, Bonk! The way you activate the <laughs> is Back off, Amar! <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Oh, here we go. These guys went from slightly terrifying in Fable 2, let's get used to them, to plain old annoying in this game. Yeah, I still don't like the way they run. I still don't like the way they run. Also, I'm pretty sure they're weaker to fire. Yeah, it only takes two hits. They're weaker to fire magic. Ah! I hope our stream can keep up with this. Usually in Fable 2 when I started combat like this, it just did not like it. You actually kind of want to get in the middle of them and just trigger your spells like that. Because then they'll end up hitting each other because they're in such a tight group. See? That one's hitting the other. Nope, I wanted to aim backwards. There we go. Right. What you got, boy? What? Yoink. 
there will be a point in the story where just where we're just gonna have to grind like a lot of gold. Thankfully, it's not that complicated considering you can own properties in this game like you could the previous one. And if you really want to, you can just hike the rent way up and have that cover everything. And you can work, so. It's a good good in the last game. Bonk! Okay. There's a way to do this to get all three. Let me out. Obviously, I have to go this way. All the way can go is this way. Ah, hell. Ah! Be gone! Okay, so we're gonna want to go... Uh... This way. Yeah, and then we can... Do this. Ugh! No, aim it. There we go. I love games where you have dogs as a companion. I played Haunting Ground recently, and I love the idea of your dog being the only thing to protect yourself with. Really? Oh, I've never heard of that game. That sounds neat. So I kind of went the wrong way from what I usually do. Usually go straight and then kind of connect it that way. But either way, we can reach it. There is, in fact, a way to get all three chests. We're never going to use that. It's better off being sold, in my opinion. Did I genuinely screw this up? Because now this platform won't light up. Oh, don't tell me I genuinely screwed this up. No, there's... No, I could have sworn there was a different way. It'll let us backtrack, right? I hope. No, we go out this way. I don't recall not being able to get all the chests. I'm pretty sure it's just the more you... The more you pick up, the more you at the face. Ah! Your dog can eventually fight. Just not currently. Yeah, this way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I know there's a way to get all three. I know, buddy. I'm getting there. Again, kind of useless. Not entirely useless, just kind of. There we go. And then... No, must be a gnome later on that I'm thinking of around this corner. I know there's a silver key in here. Pretty sure, anyway. Where's my pupper? Ugh, fine. Be late. Ooh. I see you. There's a way to get... Oh, there's our dog. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sorry, I just have in the background. Just wee! Man, am I glad you're made out of gears. Alrighty. Woo! <laughs> God, I love when the dogs do stuff they're not supposed to. Well, not usually supposed to be able to do for a dog. There's a dig spot here, isn't there? Yep. Now he's got it. God, I love how the dog's always in the way when you go to dig in this game. You just end up dumping dirt on him. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Dive spot, question mark? No. Darn. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, dive spot. 
yoink, my amethyst. What? Oh. There we go. Note to self, no sprinting. That's why. Yeah, I can tell him Jethro. Just hear him growling in the background. Ah, 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 what's over here? There's an area I can go back into, meaning there's stuff back here. Ha! Love the mismatched eyes. <laughs> His eyes are two different sizes. Love it. Yoink. Cutie patootie for real. So Ooh. this is how it ends. I steal the blueprints for the dungeon from the architect who built it. Find the secret entrance on the other side of Miss Peak. Almost get killed by several hollow men. Stub my toe against a rock so that it really hurts when I walk. And now this. I know there's a great treasure in here somewhere. And I know it has something to do with these braziers. I just don't know what. But I'm not leaving until I solve this riddle. So, uh, how'd that work out for you? Could it be, I don't know, lighting them? Oh, would you look at that. Turns out if you light the braziers, it, it lets you in. <gasps> Silver key! I know there's one in here. Ah! Told you! What? Eight. No, I want to go this way. So yeah, those were looking to collect all of them. For some reason I recall the silver key being earlier in the the dungeon, but I guess not. That was one in Miss Peak that we missed. <laughs> missed Peak. Missed it. God, please don't have stream crash on me. <laughs> Last time I made a dumb set of puns like that, and stream just gave up on me. Bit of a no she was there. <laughs> Come on, Jethro. Why are you lagging behind? Alright, we're leaving without you. Don't jinx it, at least you never know. Yeah. Whoa, holy shit, you came in fast. Jesus. Nibble. No. Aw. Why can't I just jump into the void? So those bats aren't attacking me. Ugh, but the hollow men are. Get out of here! Where's Dig's butt? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Good boy. Ugh, of course, no more of you. Ah! I love how she doesn't turn around. She just fires behind her. No! Oh! Go away! Uh... Ah! I would run past the key these spirits. Those little orbs. Yeah, I do! No! You do not just walk behind the lady! Can I just 
walk up behind a woman. <laughs> Jesus. Just tell me you're there. I know exactly which one he's talking about. We saw it earlier. Yoink. Mine. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that, that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapon. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located, and these weapons, well... They must be seen to be believed. Please return to the sanctuary as soon as you can. Okay. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by yes. your mother. They are in the armory. Ooh! Cool, where's my purple die? Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause Chisel. more damage and achieve other incredible effects. Hmm. I think I'm gonna name this one after a hero. So, stream is gonna. Pause again. I named it Reaver. After the hero of skill. That, will be made much simpler by the effective use that was in Fable fire. 2 and is definitely not going to make another appearance in this game. The pistol. Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, Rifle's experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked. Okay. Yay. Did another gift just come in? Ah, I can get you from here now, suckers. Ah! I forgot how limited it was at the beginning of the game. Bitch. Hold on. There are new I items check. available in Yay! the sanctuary shop. Damn it! Gus gets a bus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God, I love these games! They're so unserious! This is an amazing break that I needed. Especially after the Fallout 4 BS. Amazing. Love it. Yes, rifle, the pistol is better. It fires quicker. Unfortunately, the rifles are not the best in this game. You know me. If it was good, I would have taken it. But uh, currently, I'm pretty sure that pistols are better. Ugh. Why are there so many of you? Yeah, don't mind the statistics on the left pop up. Uh, it's just between Corbin and I. Because on this account, we're partners. Like business partners, you can become business partners with other people in the game. Hey! You hit the dog! I wouldn't care less. I'd still use the rifle. Ah, hello. Oh god. Let's see, Jasper. The armory is at your disposal. Oh, jeez. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes this just happens. When you need to attack a target from a great there distance it is. and don't mind sacrificing firing speed, a rifle is Okay, you know what? You. Since you're you're the whole stick of the rifle thing and everything, hold on. Gotta pause right now. There. Now, just read the name of the rifle for me real quick. If it would 
pull it back up. There, I can do this, I forgot. <laughs> we'll just name it after you since you're the first person to go rifle. And also kind of the only person currently here. We'll let Mira have, uh, have their weapon. Okay, hold on. Damage is 19. Twenty. Okay. Do you want... Well, I can't rename this one, so never mind. Technically better, but whatever. Rifles are slower to fire than... You wanted to go for the rifle, not the musket. See, two shots, that's it. Reload. Still does a significant amount of damage, but your shot is slower, and you only get two shots. So, more of a shotgun than anything. Oh, those are useless. Actually, no, there's one fight they'll be useful for. I gotta tell you what it is, but you know. There is a fight that'll be coming up that it'll be useful for. See, the only problem with me playing Fable 3 is I don't want to stop. <laughs> So it's just the VOD's going on forever because I just I don't want to put down Fable 3. What? Oh, is it behind there? Yeah, it is. And here's little bucks from here. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the rifle then. That's all you get, so I'm gonna have to resort to the Ow! Commander. As hollow men are weak to fire. There's also two freaking many of them. Love that they all just are so eager to kill you, they end up hitting each other. Look at this! <laughs> the big ones are just bulldozing right through the little ones. It's hilarious. They're just so eager to hit you, and they'll just hit each other. Uh, why? 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 I didn't hit that. Why are we stopping? Really want to get us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, too many. This is why. Hey, hello, man. There's too many of the bastards. Too freaking many. You guys even hear me over all of this? I'm not even sure. I didn't get the sound test in the middle of all this shit. Why are there so many of you? I hate it. Get out of here. Dark Souls, this shit! Roll! Just roll away from everything! Game's a little louder Welcome than you? Well, we gotta sanctuary. fix that. Hold on, I think... Uh, we can go now settings. Where you can find no, let's just go in the actual stream settings. Audio, let's bring the game down one. Well, no, because then... So, dialogue's fine, right? If it's just combat, then I'll just go into game settings. Yep. We'll just go into sounds. Is dialogue fine? Because like... if dialogue's fine, you can hear me over that just fine. And you can hear me over the music, and it's just the combat, then we'll just turn that down. Don't ask me why, it's a crunch. Dialogue was chill? Okay. We'll just make sounds like two clicks lower. Okay. So if I fire like this, and everything's going on, can you hear me just fine? We good now? <laughs> crunch munch munch. <laughs> Uh, I have a morbid little piece of information about that, too. Um, we're good? Perfect. Um, I don't know if it's exclusively for this item in this game, but I know in Fable 2, that is specifically the crunching sound that a crunchy chick makes in Fable 2. And a crunchy chick is about exactly what you think it is. 
It's just a baby chicken. It's just a, literally a chick. I can't even remember if it's like deep fried or not. But it's just a straight up chick. That you just, it, it's not part of a chick. It's not like the feet or anything like that. It's just all, <laughs> it's just an entire chick. Head and all. I can't remember if it's deep fried or if it's just straight up just a live chick. I'm pretty sure it's just a live chick. <laughs> you have to eat, I think, five of them to get into like the, um, this cult that's like obsessed with death. <laughs> Why do you know this? Because, like I said, it was a thing in Fable 2, and I was a completionist back in Fable 2, so I went both for the, the Dark Cult and for the Temple of Light. <laughs> and also, the Crunchy Chick makes a very specific sound. So, like I said, I think they might have diversified it more to, like, apples and other, you know, crunchy foods in this game, but in Fable 2, it was, like, specifically the Crunchy Chick. I think, if I recall correctly, in this game, it makes, like, a peeping sound, too, when you eat it. I can't remember. I can't remember if it's fully... I can't remember if it is in this game. I think it is. I think that's still the requirement for you uh, joining up with them. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> that crunching sound, that, res that resonating crunch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a crunchy chick. <laughs> that's so cool, I know! <gasps> Music box! Oh my god! Sorry, I still get so excited. I know I played it before. I know I've been playing with Corbett. I don't care. Ah! So, for those of you that don't know, uh, in Fable 2... Oh, I, I don't want to spoil anything, though. But if you know, you know about the music box in Fable 2. Ah! It doesn't make the same tune in this game, which is unfortunate. I don't think it does anyway. That doesn't sound... It doesn't sound the same to me. It could be. It's been a while since I heard the music box in Fable 2, because it's like at the beginning of the game and then the end. So. Yeah, so basically this, this was from Fable 2. Yoink! Fine! Give me my music box back! Now, step into the light. There is much you need to know. Ooh, here we go. Oh, not what I thought it was just yet. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero Hi, could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess. And there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution. If it's cut scene, someone beginning. to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. We'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. Yeah, here we go. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. So that's our older brother. still doubt the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. 
Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. <laughs> so poetic, wowie. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dramatic. Yeah, 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 I know what it is. So basically all those points that we've been getting go into guild seals. Each time you fill in the loop, it adds a seal. You complete missions, get more seals. Red, blue, green, green. Where's my purple? Oh, this is good to get early on. The landlord pack. You know, I was discussing about getting rent and stuff. Yeah. Good idea. Ah, uh, come friends. Yeah, I don't really care about that. <laughs> Always up for die packs. Yoink. Ooh. That's... Uh, yeah, I'm not really upgrading our magic. So we can afford both of these. Actually, we could afford all three. So our sword should have changed here. There we go. Take a closer look at it later. Give me my ranged. Oh, I actually haven't seen the way that the rifle upgrades. Just having the pistol. So no matter which one you're currently using, all of them will upgrade. Let me see, let me see. Oh yeah, so they all get those designs on them pretty much. Also, those like, you see how it's all, well, I guess not currently, but Basically, depending on your morality, they have blue designs on them or red designs. Depending on how good or evil you are. Yeah, we'll need all three of these. I'm not getting shocked. I don't want it. I just get fireball and I stick with it. <laughs> I don't really care for shock. I don't think the gauntlet changes. I don't actually know, though. Don't quote me on that. I think it changed. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would. Everything else does. Alrighty. Continuing on. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this for a while. I love this game. I could sit here forever. <laughs> These VODs are gonna be long. I love Fable. <laughs> Boo! Blessed image cards. <laughs> You made it! <laughs> I love this This is phrases. cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, Neat. Adam. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. Why did he's he go back to being depressed? Outside the local tavern. Hey! Why'd you go back to being depressed? Also, I want to give me my I'm purple die. I'm curious that Sir Walter should have chosen a tavern as your rendezvous point. I do hope he's finding some way of occupying his time while he waits for you. <laughs> as long as you're enjoying your time, then it's worth every second. Aw, oh, thanks, Ben. Where's my freaking purple ah, dye? Give me! Companion. This is where you can see how he is getting on. He's com These new glass would look supremely handsome, gripping the hilt of a finely polished sword. Which reminds me, where have I left the sword polish? <laughs> Blue. Where's my purple? The two different kinds of green. Oh no! Oh no! It's green and turquoise. Hmm. Ugh. I want my purple, damn it. Any other business to attend to? It will take nothing less than my purple. Where is it, Jasper? <laughs> Just threatening Jasper because I don't have my purple dye. Fine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the silver key chest. Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait. Bye. Now we can come and go as we please. I really wish it would take off the comparisons. <laughs> I want to give away Crow's stats. Where's the chest again? Oh yeah, it's on the left. No! Go away, you stupid hollow men! See, they fall us even in here. Gimme. Jethro, protect me. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Oh, go away, you big brutes. Oh, God. Holy shit. <laughs> I got them to spec. You know what? No, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Stop sliding backwards and run. I got what I wanted. I'm out. I'm out. Sorry, I was laughing too hard and I got attacked by Holloman. Fitz said the chat, just screaming at his face. <laughs> I can't even finish this. <laughs> just screaming at his face. Purple! <laughs> Oh, hey, Chess. Love that ADHD in motion. Just pure essence kept right there. Reads comment. Ooh, look at Chess. I already have those! <laughs> like, oh, yes, the queen is so benevolent and kind. And then, meanwhile, Jasper just, where's my purple dye? I don't know. Just throwing a bottle of like, like the hot pink dye, just not purple. <laughs> oh no! Don't do that to Jasper. No. <laughs> Jesus! What an actual menace if you were to do that, eh? There's a chest back here. How many do you need? Ten! Boo. Ten, that's absurd. Oh! <laughs> product in bright wall available here. Mom, I want Guitar Hero. We have Guitar Hero at home. Good one! The Guitar Hero at home. Legitimately, it's 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 Guitar Hero. It's called Loot Hero. It's literally. I like that. You've amassed enough ah, money to buy a house. Houses are excellent I have? investments. Besides, you'll need somewhere to live if you meet that special someone. If it means getting your point across, I mean, <laughs> no, Lee Jasper Loot. This one's my favorite. I am amazing at this one. This will be like our main way of getting money later on in the game. Albion will just have so many pies. I love your technique. Thanks, I rolled a pin across it three times. How can I hope to see you again? Thanks. You handle that dough like an artist. I just pushed the rolling pin over it three times. What do you mean? Someone special. You can roll with the <laughs> second I just need to stop laughing <laughs> Fancy chat said throw a pie at Jasper <laughs> Give me my purple god damn it <laughs> You're the one that says this has no reason being funny, but I'm laughing anyways. Like, you weren't the one to make me laugh. <laughs> Stop picking on Jasper! Where did you get them? Stop it! Leave him alone. About opening a pawn shop. Like, it's not his here. fault the delivery man hasn't given us our purple yet. The decade, 
I'm <laughs> You're tearing time. up? Oh no. Well, I can't say that. It's not a lie. Oh yeah, also this gets faster and faster, but we have three buttons, so it really mm. shouldn't be that difficult. Hi, making perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm picturing. I, oh my god, I'm tearing up too. I'm just picturing like <laughs> the hero of Brightwall, which is what a character is called, by the way. Um, like their official name. Just, just teleporting into the sanctuary. First order of business, just pieing Jasper straight in the face. Where's my purple? <laughs> We'll have a whole lineup of pies at the ready. <laughs> Be warned, Jasper. It's <laughs> like a pie on like the war table there on like the map. <laughs> and he's just spending all day while he's trying to clean the, the sanctuary, just staring at it in fear. <laughs> Praying that we don't come into the sanctuary and he doesn't have our purple yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's a good pie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, if only I had money, that'd be my next thing. Like, oh, there's so many things I want to get commissioned. I want to get, like, the v the current versions right of time. Twitch that we've had throughout all the, like, RPGs with character customization. Like in one big group photo, Ooh, good and now I just want to see <laughs> just oh, daughter of Twitch. Like I said, we haven't come up with a name for him. Just the hero Brightwall, mm, just <laughs> just pieing Jasper straight in the face. I a ghost town. Pie of the oh decade. boy, what was that about? The ghost town. Time will tell. Pie of the decade. Who's who's keeping track of that? Come on, Pie of the decade. Only time will tell. Oh yeah, unfortunately she repeats herself a lot. Good pie. Woo! Almost missed that one. Hey, we made a thousand. That's one hell of a pie. This mini game and five finger fillet in uh, Red Dead Redemption, the original one. For some reason, I'm not I'm good not at it in the second game, but in the first game, I am just I'm fucking cr I'm really good at it. I don't know Wonderful if that's stayed. I know what this one, because like I said, Corvin and I have been playing and I always bug her by <laughs> just I wanna go do this mission. Ooh, I'm making pies! Let's stop tonight. making pies. <laughs> nope. But uh yeah, I don't know about uh, Red Dead Redemption. Hey! Ah. That was my favorite rolling pin. You have a favorite rolling pin? I usually restock every few Anyways, weeks. I don't know if I'll still be good That's at the uh, Red Dead Redemption work. one minigame. Jasper just standing there. <laughs> standing there covered in pies you can't even see him anymore only his eyes like those cartoons <laughs> you gotta add like the the muffled voice effect too <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Only way to get people to spend these days. Oh my god. If you're fine with Pie of the decade. Only time will tell. Okay, okay, that's enough. We can upgrade the skill and we'll have to do less for more, so. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, uh, we can head to... A little something oh, no. new has appeared in the sanctuary shop. Care to have a look? Has it? Has it though, Jasper? Oh, use the shop, not the gifts. Okay, I'll get away with that one. Um, <laughs> I wanted to rent properties. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> oh my 
god, Vince says my aunt thought I was crying because trying my best to hold back my laughter. <laughs> oh, that's always the best. We're like, are you crying? Like, no, just laughing really hard. <laughs> Two thousand for a stall? Oh, someone's. Ah, uh, no, we didn't want to speak. Should probably start with the dollar camp. I'm not going to raise the rent. Normally, people raise the rent like cr like crazy. I personally am not going to raise the rent. I'm trying to go for a good playthrough. I know you can raise the rent to maximum until you reach the threshold that you need to be at and then drop it, I just don't want the morality drop. So we're just gonna- whatever rent is, is whatever rent is. Um, as we get later into the game, we'll be able to actually lower the rent in lower poverty areas. That will be my goal. So, for the first bit where we really need it, we're gonna keep the rent just where it is, at normal, you know, mid amount, and then... Once we get to like mid to late game, we can lower the low poverty areas and uh, hike the rent on the high poverty areas. Okay. Yeah, let's just go for whatever gas it needs to. Ooh. Yeah, but how much is it going to be to repair the place? And we got to start somewhere. Home is where the high rent out. They say. It should also be where you have your best furnishings. Uh, have you given it any thought to be decorated? There we go. Okay. Oh, well, uh, rent is 36 gold, but that's fine. Two thousand- what?! Since when?! Oh, cause it's a shop. <laughs> 609, 639, what?! I don't remember them being this expensive, or did I just always have a shit ton of gold? I can't remember. Thank you, Vid, I appreciate it. Should be fixed now, hopefully. Oh, there we go. There's another one I can barely afford. Oh, 217. I don't have that much. Okay, well, looks like we need to go back to pie making, actually. Oh, see, look at that. Rent already came in. Fantastic. You got gold to spend. Oh, wait, we can afford things on the road to rule. Welcome to the sanctuary. It's right behind me. Yeah, we just head over there through that. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna count the next set. Ah, heck. No, we can't do it yet. Darn. Alright. Fine. <laughs> Mind empty, just purple. <laughs> I think it's at like a certain point that you get it, I don't know. I know we have it, because my character... Oh, hi. Um... <laughs> I sell the best items in all Brightwall. My it's character so in the playthrough that Corvin and, and I are doing is in black and purple. So. Oh, back to this, I guess. This. Hope you guys like pie making. <laughs> we need money, though, and I'm not waiting for rent. The cool thing about Fable, though, is the rent system that is even is if you're problem. away from the game, it's still counting the amount of time that passes. So when you log back in, all that rent's gonna accumulate as if you were logged yeah, in. The decade. Only time will tell. It was the best in Fable 2. It still carries over to here, I'm just saying. You got a lot more in Fable 2. Lovely too. work! From what I remember... That's some tasty work. <laughs> a pie for you, and a pie for you, a pie for everyone! Especially Jasper! You're a whiz with a rolling pin! We solving world hunger right here at the store. <laughs> yeah, forget the dwellers. Bright wall, they, they need more. <laughs> Right there. We got the dwellers that are actively starving and we're over here to score a deal to get them more food. No, Brightwall needs That's more food. Clearly. Work. 
Clearly, Brightwell's struggling more than they are. Great pie. <laughs> Jasper needs more pies to his face. Smells Leave Jasper alone. He's our most loyal ally. He's been taking care of us since we've been a kid. A baby. Leave Jasper alone. That'll fetch a good price. Almost missed that. You should keep I almost pressed shot. that too early. You never know when I might have a sale on. I love your technique. Um, actually I will, because the menu will tell me. <laughs> I sell the best items in all Brightwall. Oh, oh dear. Ah, fuck. I'll have to close down. And this will become a ghost town. Pie of the decade? Only time will tell. Listen, if you'd think it would be more difficult when it goes faster with more inputs, but you no, it's only the three like inputs. For some reason, it's just so difficult when it gets going fast. Mm, I think there's like perfection. four inputs, three or- no, three inputs. At like level two or so. Ooh, you don't want to get this tonight. too high of a level or else it will become pretty difficult. Like it'll just start out fast. Quality pie making that. I might keep that one for myself. For I wish I could give a trick for this of like, oh, keep your thumb in the You'll middle or something. There is clearly you know no trick. <laughs> you won't regret it. It's just pray. A gift for that. Brilliant. Keep them coming. It's a it's a mixture of keep your eye on the ball and pray. <laughs> Champion. Thanks. Come again. Ooh, that crust is divine. The only thing I do miss about Fable 2 with the jobs is quality pie making. It was dependent on how much gold you made doing the one job that you get a promotion. Now you need to go onto the road to rule to unlock the higher levels. You handle that dough like an Not artist. that big of a deal. Just kind of eh. I, it made it feel more like worthwhile in Fable 2. Getting a promotion rather than just unlocking the next set. The next difficulty. You're good at this. Everything you could possibly need and much more. Great pie. Oh, that's a good pie. Why go round naked when you could if be wearing clothes? If business doesn't pick up soon, I'll be right <laughs> out of it. I love your technique. <laughs> Did you hear? Why go around naked and you can wear clothes? Yeah, we're... Hi, that's kind of how that works. That was oh, my feck. favorite rolling pin. It's hard paying attention to chat and the NPC best. chatter. Like, all of it's designed to distract mm, you and make you screw up. Perfection. You're gonna, like, mute everyone. And even then, you're not safe. You can roll with the best of them. I love your technique. All right, I think we got enough quality pie making. That. Come on, people! You know you want to spend. Uh, I'll end up on the street otherwise. Never mind. How curious mm. that Sir Walter should have chosen a tavern as your rendezvous point. You brought it up already. No, wait, dweller camp. Uh, so that's showing properties that we own. Where's the other one that I bought right here? You. Repair that. Uh, buy that. Repair that. Repair the other one, just keep on top of it. See, just cost four gold. 2,609. Yeah, they're all like above 500. Heck. Alright.
Alright, well, I won't stick you guys in, uh, pie making purgatory. Pie gatory. <laughs> ah, hello! No, I didn't go back just to check and see if my purple was there. What do you mean? Yes, my Best products in no! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, but I forgot to do that. The finest goods in Brightwall. Walter! You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. Yes. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Away. Come with I don't me. like the way you said it when you said that. What kind of plan? One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded <laughs> killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the <laughs> pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. What? Just no. try not to think about what those stains might be. Why'd you mention them? Walter! Uh. Fine. Hmm. You're not likely oh. to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing okay. with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your yep. first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. Oh, what, the Holloman weren't enough? I'm gonna get here before I get demonetized. <laughs> oh, what? Now you need me to earn gold? You. I was doing that already. Ugh. Back to pie making, I guess. See, this is why rent is important early game. Yep, more pies. <laughs> See you again soon. Isn't there a blacksmithing as well. Hold on. This one's another loot section, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not doing that. I could have sworn blacksmithing made a comeback in this game. It's with that stupid segment again, but, you know. Anyone help We've got you? something for everybody. Didn't blacksmithing come back as a job? Thank you. you won't find anything Doesn't seem like it. Darn. Here. Blacksmithing was the best job to have early game in Fable 2. It was so easy and it added up so quickly. Loved blacksmithing. Blacksmithing and wood chopping. Honestly, a lot of the a lot of the jobs in 2 were really good. Personally, pie making is the best one in this one, in my opinion. Ooh. Might have that yeah, because in two you could bartend, you could chop wood, you could be a blacksmith, like all of them were good. Pie mastery. Bartending, once you get it right and you figure out the system, it's so easy and it becomes stupid lucrative. It's just a bar that fills up and you gotta stop it at the right like checkpoint. It doesn't really move. I don't recall it moving. You're a it's a bit tricky to get the hang of, but once you have the hang of it, ugh, stupid lucrative. You handle that dough like yeah, an early game, easiest mini game in Fable Two, blacksmithing. Thanks. Can you have it delivered, please? That'll fetch a good price. Dude, you want it delivered? Do you see how small this town is? Delivered where? Up you the street? You that dough like an artist. Two houses down? Lovely work. Let me 
loads you. Guns are the cheapest. You won't regret Here it. They are. Clean it up, then. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you made me screw up because I thought... Okay, so... I don't know if... I have a feeling you know this vid. With the auto mod, uh, it highlights what it's it's censoring. I thought someone came in and said, you lazy ass bitch. And I was like, the fuck? Like, it caught me so off guard. <laughs> I was like, oh, we have our first real hater. Who the hell just comes into someone's stream and says, you lazy ass bitch? Like, what? <laughs> I was about to be like, oh shit, we actually have like a, like a situation in our hands. Oh no. <laughs> and I saw it was you and it was the Autobahn. And I went, oh, it's just been. <laughs> no, where'd the thing go? I wanted to bring that. Hey. Ah, oh, I wanted to let it pass, but then just got rid of it. Anyways, yeah, you said carry it yourself, you lazy ass bitch. Yeah, it just highlighted you, the lazy ass bitch. And I was like, um. Too aggressive for my own good? No, no, you're fine. I just, like I said, oh shit. Uh, I'll be right back. My nose is bleeding. Hi. Uh, Nosebleed's not over, but I'm back. Yeah, I gotta go to the doctors about this. Nosebleeds have been becoming more and more of a frequent thing for me. I don't know why. Usually it has to do with, like, how arid one room is. Like, I need a humidifier when I sleep and everything, because if the air gets dry, I tend to have nosebleeds, but these have been more frequent than they've been historically so yeah some people think it might be like a deviated septum or something which i haven't fully looked into what that could lead to or what that is or what it does so yeah i'm okay like i said it just happens sometimes when the air is too dry like i have a sensitive nose sometimes i have days where like i'm really congested for no reason and uh, so I sniffle a lot, and that also doesn't help with it. So, yes, I'm okay. These have happened since I've been a kid. Just more frequently recently. I don't know why. So. Sorry to hear about that, though. Must suck. Uh, it's getting a little bit, like... It's my. It's kind of concerning, considering the frequencies risen, and I can't really like determine an exact cause because I do have a humidifier in my room. So, but other than that, like my health is fine. Like I don't have headaches going along with it. Like nothing like that. Nothing seriously concerning. Just more frequent nosebleeds, and I don't know why. So. Yeah, I'm going to be making a doctor's appointment for that. Honestly, like, I'm not I'm not queasy around blood or anything, so, like, it's just kind of more of an inconvenience than anything. It's just like, ah, oh, fuck, this is happening again. Bad timing for on stream, though. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit of a sign that we should uh, call it. Uh, I'm going to take a brief pause and just... I might sound a little weird after this, because I'm going to basically shove some stuff up my nose, like the tissue to stop the bleeding. 
and uh, I'll be right back and we'll get to our next checkpoint and then I'm going to call it. So be right back real quick. Okay, back once again. Also, if anyone ever told you to tip your head back when you have a nosebleed, uh, don't do that. That's incorrect. You are literally swallowing your own blood because it's going just down. <sighs> Not your windpipe, but you know what I mean. You send it back since your your nose and your you know your breathing and your swallowing and everything are connected. Uh, yeah, don't tip your head back. You tip your head forward and you pinch the bridge of your nose right before the bone. So right on that, like, cartilage, kind of. You know what I mean? Like how it goes from soft to, like, the bone of your nose. You pinch right before it gets to the bone. And that'll help slow and stop the bleeding. Don't ever tip your head forward. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh. Huh. All right, this one's kind of bad. I'm going to call it here. When I can. Yeah, I'm going to back out of this. And uh, I'm going to call it here. They say nothing is as satisfying as earning a wage of one's own. I hope you don't think it's... Kind of control this one hand. No, I... Did you... Uh, where's the quit? Eh. Now I don't want to load. Where's my quit option? I don't think I have one. There we go. Okay, hold on. So it should let me... No, no quit. No quit. Ah, no, wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, anyways, I guess this is going to be our uh, end screen for the day. I wish I go back to the main menu, but it won't let me. So anyways, <laughs> a little bit of a messy end, but uh, thank you so much for joining me for Fable 3. <laughs> I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full VODs go up on YouTube at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They don't normally include nosebleeds. <laughs> anyways, have a good one, guys. Thanks for joining me once again, and stay safe.